1.30, and in the interest of not having 21 to 27 people coming up to my office and me running the risk of giving bad information, because I'm doing too many things at one time, I thought, let us start this session and at least get some of the information moving. All right? Good. All right, so let me, if you could, write your name down here, and then we are, I'm going to have to say this again when the tape's on, um, we need to schedule three sessions in, in either pre-departure information or, and or um, to go over content for intercultural communications before we go so that we don't have to jam all of that into the time that we're in Turkey because it'd be a lot more fun to be looking at the application of the theory and not the theory as well as. So um, what we've done in the past is to schedule about once a month an evening session like 6 to 8 o'clock which is going to be an absolute impossible thing to hit everybody's schedule right, and I know that. But it'd be great to get some idea of how close we can get. So if you could pass this mm -hmm. and put name and um, if we were to schedule in the evenings, which nights are best? Or if you already know that you absolutely can't do a certain evening because you've got a night class or whatever. Let me know what that is. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So is this on now? Do we know? Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's a there's a red light flashing on this Oh, side. on your side, there's a red light. Oh. But I don't know if it should be on or flashing. Where did you want to go? As the world turns. <laughs> as the world turns. As the faculty members. Yeah, use. you've been recorded already, so I'm wrapping that, the, that little first part okay. is there on it. Okay, so I'm Linda Gobo, hi to our low res students, mm -hmm. and Roberto Mignani, who is right. our director of program development and actually is the reason why this whole thing is going to get off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. um, the reason why we're videotaping is in part for those of your on-campus classmates who aren't here, but also because we have um, seven students in our international ed low-res program that are coming on the trip with us, which is how we started doing these programs in the first place, was that we had this low-residency program, and we really wanted them to have an opportunity if they were based um, in, to, if they were based here, to be able to get out and have an experience. So um, that, was, that was a big part of how the, these courses started, and now they're just rolling uh, away. Probably it's taken. Is that right? Okay. So um, anyway, so we have seven folks. One's in China, one's in Korea, one's in New Jersey, one's in Arkansas. Um, one's right down in Springfield that may come to some of these meetings, and I can't remember where the other two are um, at, off the top of my head. Um, but they will be a part of this trip and course with us. So, um, in the next 45 minutes, uh, I'd like to have you all tell me who you are. Um, I'd like to go over the itinerary, information on travel and flights, and visa, and weather, and health, and then show you where the Google site is. How's that sound? <laughs> Done. Okay, so, could you do me the favor, please, so I can try to figure out who everybody is? Name. And something about you that will help me remember who you are. Okay, it can be where you're from, or why you want to go to Turkey, or what your favorite color is. But I, I learn names by having something to associate them with. So, <laughs> I'm chewing and choking at the same time. I'm Lauren, and I'm a student, and I'm from Tavistan. Palestine. Okay. Okay. 
Um, I'm Elizabeth. I'm also a Penn student, um, and I work in the library. Okay. Okay. That'll help. Um, I am Melanie, but you already know that, and I'm on the wait list, and I'm also from New Jersey. From New Jersey? Yeah. From that low rescue. Yeah. We're in New Jersey. Central. Princeton. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be down there in a few weeks. If I need anything brought back, <laughs> you know what? We'll talk. We'll <laughs> <laughs> talk? Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm Heidi, but you know me. Um, <laughs> I, um, I'm going to Turkey to just go somewhere different. My focus is I'm from Latin America, and I wanted to try a new place. So I'm going to say. Good. I'm Jason. I'm uh, here to Los Angeles, works in film. Ah. Um, the Turkish system is great to speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <coughs> Hi, I'm Katie. Um, I'm going to Turkey because my father was born there. I always mm -hmm. wanted to go. Uh -huh. Will you see any of your relatives for you? He's days? not Turkish. My grandfather was in the Air Force. I may live there for oh. the first oh, right. seven years of my father's life. So I was wanted to go there. Okay, so this will be your opportunity. Mm -hmm. Jessica or Jennifer? It's a J name, isn't it? It's Victoria Jones. Oh, all right. Victoria Jones. All right. Uh, I really love history. And because Turkey is so rich in history, I'm really excited to go, especially Istanbul. Good. Good. Why did I pick your last name to focus in on? <laughs> After we counted all of those yeah. peppers and the sugar packets together the other day. Okay, I'm Jenny. I'm also from Los Angeles. I'm, I'm going to Turkey because I plan on seeing the entire world and I haven't been there yet. Oh, good. Okay, <laughs> so you can check that off your list. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Jenny. <laughs> um, and I eat. And um, oh, that glasses today. I'm without glasses today, yes, that was yeah. a freak out. <laughs> I usually be without glasses. Okay. And um, you know, from Oregon. Okay. She also looks like Sandra Bull. <laughs> think? I think so. Mm -hmm. I see it. I have Sandra Bullock tendencies apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Sarah, we're, before you start eating, <laughs> I, <laughs> know. What? I know who you are, but no, you is don't. everybody else? <laughs> Sarah Davitt. Sarah Davitt. Yes, okay. so I'm Sarah Davitt. And Something about you to help me remember who you are. Um, my standard issue answer is I'm in a bicycle gang. <laughs> I am calling the bicycle gang, in fact, which is the highest honor. <laughs> I have a rickshaw. Oh, I have a rickshaw covered in sparkly jewels. It's called Angry Candy. And you have a mother that's a professor. Oh, my mother's a professor. But that's not nearly as interesting. Yeah, my hello. Well, well, to me it works. Yeah. 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 To me it works. She's, she's but she's the highest Yes, well, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, I like turkey because of the song Istanbul and Constantinople. Oh, she played that. Yes. Yeah. You have to get that next time. <laughs> anyway, so, um, can I put food in my mouth now? Yeah, you can't eat. All right. So, what you didn't hear me say was that we will be videotaping today. We'll videotape a lot of sessions, and for the evening classes, um, we'll probably either use GoToMeeting or we'll have a conference phone in the room at the same time so that we can involve the low residency people in as much as we possibly can. All right, so you saw the itinerary. Um, so we are going to start at 5 o'clock on January 5th. Um, you can get to the hotel anytime during the day. Um, I opted not to, or we opted not to, have transfers from the airport to the hotel because most of you are, will be coming in from all different places, times, etc. because we'll just be coming off of the 
December holiday. If it turns out that everybody's going back on the same day, on the 15th, for the same flights, we might take a look at doing group transport to the airport, if that, if that ends up making sense. And we'll figure that out after everybody's got their flights booked and organized. But coming in, um, I'm expecting that this will probably look a bit like Morocco, where we had people that were everywhere on the planet before they landed when we were starting the course. So we'll start that night at dinner. Um, the very next day, and we'll stay in the hotel our first night, and we'll stay in the hotel our last night before we go home. And the rest of the time we're in homestays. Um, you can plan on the homestays as one person per family. Um, and they will try to, uh, since most people live in apartments and not in uh, big expansive houses, there's a possibility some, some of you will be sharing a room with a host brother or sister. So they will, in most cases, try to match us according to same sex, so that if we have to share a room, we're able to do that. Um, we will spend our second day in an, um, what they've said is probably going to be an all-day orientation program. And um, we will end the program that day with a uh, pre-arrival, get ready for host families, here's the kind of thing you can expect in a Turkish home so that you're ready to settle in, and then your host families will come and get you, and off you'll go, OK? Um, the, we have two lecture segments. Um, one is on um, Islam and secularism in Turkey, and um, the other is going to be on women and gender in Turkey. And what um, we'll do is have those lectures on the campus at Bosphorus University. Um, and the first day, I mean, this is still tentative, but it's starting to get a lot less tentative than it was. Um, on this first day, we'll follow this with um, either lunch or an afternoon session with some of the Turkish University students who have volunteered to spend some time with us. And then our second um, day, uh, second after, afternoon here, um, we will spend in the, the Grand Bazaar, mm -hmm. so, which will take up most of the chunk of an afternoon. Um, and then we're going to visit a uh, women's NGO on the 11th. Um, and those are the, the organized activities that we've, that we've planned. Now, um, the expectation is that you have breakfast and dinner with your homestay family, and we have the weekends with our individual host families. So you'll be with the host family for most of the weekend, and we'll work out with them what kinds of activities we'll have with them. Um, these families, we've organized the trip with the Experiment in International Living, the um, Turkish office there in Istanbul. Um, and they work with our Experiment High School students in the summer. Um, so they're quite excited about having a group of older, older students come through. Um, and I suspect we'll be using some of, the, some of the same host families that they use in the summer. Um, so they've, they've had host students before. All right. Um, the, on the 12th, we'll travel to a rural area and um, stay in the village. We'll stay in the village for two nights with a host family um, and work with the host family in whatever sorts of things need to be done. Some of us might end up working in, um, in schools or in the field or going to work with some, doing some sort of activity as part of the regular day with our host families. And then we will return back to the um, hotel on the 14th. Ooh, I just saw that table. So we'll return back to the hotel on the 14th, have our final session that evening, and then we'll all be traveling back on Saturday the 15th.
How are we doing, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, what day does, does OB2 start? The 17th. Well, Monday. Monday the 17th is Martin Luther King Day, so usually, don't hold me to this, but usually there's some activities on campus that day, and then actual class sessions start on Tuesday. Um, so I'm assuming that that's going to be the same thing. Um, but we looked, we looked at the, I, I'm, I'm expecting your flights coming home are either going to come through Boston or New York. Some of you may choose to go through Hartford, but Hartford tends to be a little more expensive, as does Manchester, New Hampshire. So, um, what we did, say what? I said, yeah, Hartford's closest to me, but I'll, I'll start looking for flights through Boston. Yeah. I'm willing to hold the carpool to Boston and throw everybody in my car. And, yeah, well, the other, the other thing that we, that, that we might, once once you folks figure out, once we get the flight piece together, um, Thomas Transport, which is right in Keene, will do a group rate if there's enough people that are, are going. So, um, you know, it's, as, as Roberto says to me, one step at a time. Uh -huh. Step at a time. So. Wait, for airline tickets? You're saying they would do a group rate? No, for, for, no, for, for travel, travel to the airport. Oh, for shuttle to, to shuttle. Okay. So this is just a sample. We sort of took a look at um, what what might work for people. Um, and these most of the flights, most of the flights are gonna leave, you're gonna have to go in the late afternoon. And it'll take 12 to 15 hours, roughly, and most of them have one stop. Unless you folks are seeing something I don't see. Um, Hamina was very good. She, she spent time taking a look at different airlines. She said almost everybody, the, flood, the costs are, are pretty standard, um, and that they're all going through, they're all looking around the same kind of thing, leaving the late afternoon, arriving the early afternoon. So, and I will put this video, this PowerPoint, thank you. I will put this PowerPoint up on the Moodle site today. And um, the Moodle site's going to be open to you all. It will be visible to you all, let's say, tomorrow, so that I can finish getting everybody's names entered onto it. But I'll show it to you today. Okay? Yes. Um, I, I wanted to say there are a few non-stops out of JFK that I've already done. Okay. Um, well, enlighten me. What have you seen? Say again. Are they from JFK? Are, are they mostly late afternoon kinds of things? I think one of them was like 2 p.m. leaving at 2 p.m. Um, but I might have made that up. I mean, I definitely saw it when I was looking at a lot of different mm -hmm. flights. I'm sure. After a while, you get kind of... After a while, it's just the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just to warn you, flights out of Istanbul to Boston mm -hmm. on our last day are running out. I think there's only like six seats left. On which airline? I only found two. And they were both. On oh, well, six seats left, one of three. <coughs> which, I'm sorry, which airline? I don't remember it, but it was oh, that, yeah, that would be more class because I'm actually going to go early to England and then maybe mm -hmm. that through Amsterdam, mm -hmm. which is KLM, but Lufthansa. Which has three. And Lufthansa. Mm -hmm. From the West. So you folks should be doing this. I've done this. Lufthansa. For work, yeah. I booked plates. Okay. So, um, how important is the dinner on the first night? Because it's I, very I, important. important. I, 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 I guess I caught my stuff too early, but when I first asked you guys and you gave me the website to check it out, I went ahead and found something, and since I'm coming from the West Coast, I'm leaving middle of day Wednesday, but I don't arrive until the 5th at 10 p.m. at night, and because we hadn't mentioned anything about the dinner yet, and so I figured as long as I got in on the 5th that I was getting in on well, we'll these attempts. Well, we'll But the part of what happens on the first night is we get everybody together, It'll be the first time we get introduced to everybody, and we'll run through the itinerary and make sure that we're organized and make sure we got everybody. Um, so I would, I we're going to do the dinner meeting at five o'clock is what I'm planning on, unless for some reason after all of you have booked your tickets that it needs to be at five thirty or six. But I, I I really want us to start that night. 
because in the morning we've got to get out and walk around. I imagine the hotel's not too far from the airport. They haven't, or they're waiting for us to lock in at the end of this week on our numbers, and then they're going to put us in a hotel. They have. Oh, we don't know where. I don't know which hotel oh, we're in yet. They have a lot of hotels they work with. Okay. So. Um, she, our coordinator, is quite anxious for us to lock down on our numbers. Um, as, yeah. as I am getting that way too, I might have. Yeah, when will we go to find out how? Well, this Friday is the end of Ann's drop. Okay, so, so it'll be this, this Friday will be the end of Ann's drop. She can accommodate our numbers, okay. so I'm not worried about that. Um, wait, wait, let's do I, 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 <laughs> Sorry. You got I see every reason. I have every reason to think that the wait list is going to be fine. Um, and, and Roberto and I met on this this morning. I, um, I, I really wasn't expecting to have this many people have an interest in this. So um, now that our numbers are where they are, we're going to get a second faculty member to come with us. Um, so you don't all have to deal with just me. And um, we will have a coordinator from the experimental office who, is, who works in that office who's with us 24-7 on the whole time. So you should have plenty of folks around to take care of whatever needs everybody has. And um, Nevin and I have spoken about um, doing, having enough breakout space for smaller rooms so that we, you know, we'll do the lectures with 25 people in them, but discussion groups will be smaller. And so we're we're working with the numbers, um, but on Friday we're locked in. So I, you know, I, I think we're going to be fine with the numbers. All right. Anybody? Any other places that people want to suggest? Jason. Uh, travel zoo. Mm -hmm. Travel zoo. Mm -hmm. Will bring up, you know, search. You can, it'll search five different six things for you. you can go like uh, Trip Advisor would. Similar. Yeah. All right. uh, also, on um, the student fairs, like Lufthansa gives the student discounts, but <laughs> and the big but is your age. Yeah. So you can be a student, what? but you have to be between something. I think your top limit is thirty-five. Damn. So if you're within that, you get some of those discounts. <laughs> and I've noticed that other foreign carriers. Uh, I haven't checked so much the American carriers because I'm not too crazy about flying domestic carriers internationally. Mm -hmm. But um, some of them will also have student fares, and there's a separate link through which you need to go and register. And, yeah. You know, they'll want your student email address to verify that you're a student. So, so TripAdvisor, Travel Zoo. Travel Zoo. StudentUniverse.com. Student searches. What was the grades? What was the what was the next? Studentuniverse.com. I'll put these on this PowerPoint for anybody who isn't here. Um, Student Universe, you mm -hmm. said? Sarah, do you have another one? Um, I actually more of a tip. Clear your browser and cookies and cancel everything out because they will grab your information and give you a higher price depending on what ser what searches you've been doing. I've heard that before. Is that really true? Mm -hmm. So, so like if, if you if you go shopping at Morton Taylor, you will get a slightly higher price. Yes. So sorry. So that's why <laughs> there's two other people coming. In. That's a okay. If you need a chair, yeah. there's some right across the hall. And one I know that like when I go, I mean, it's one of five. The information is still there, and I'm like, wait a second. You know who else has that chair? Which one? Okay. So yeah. Let, let me keep moving time wise. I will put these other places yeah. on the site. Both. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. All right. This is roughly the prices that we've seen. Is this about what you're seeing? No. Yes. What yes. Are you seeing? I've seen like seven hundred and fifty out of Boston. Yeah. Oh, Boston. There you go. Okay. That was really interesting. So I just saw that. Okay. So nobody's found any two hundred dollar flights. No. 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 They're actually yeah, they're all seven fifty, and some of them will go twelve hundred depending on. Right. Okay. How far you're going? I, I have seen some that are cheaper that originally said like 
five hundred, whatever. But then with the three hundred dollar taxes, they taxes. end up averaging eight hundred. So right. these are all okay. 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 All right. So most of the flights depart in the afternoon and arrive in the afternoon, twelve to fifteen hours roughly, is what we're seeing. Um, this is the next big thing, is the visa piece. So um, if you're traveling as a tourist, when you get in country, point of entry, you, for $20 you can get a 90 day sticker. Um, now that's if you're traveling on a US passport. If you're not traveling on a US passport, here's the place to check. And we have a link here that if you um, check this link, it'll give you all different passport, country, country passports, and it'll tell you what the visa requirements are. So if you're someone who's going to need a visa in advance, start now. And Roberto has graciously said, that um, he can help people get rolling on that if they need it. Yeah, just to yeah, clarify what, you know, like in past courses, some people have needed visas and they've had to apply before, you know, the airport so to the directors of the consulate. So, um, you know, we could write a letter on behalf of the school and say, you know, this is because of a course and so forth. So just those mm -hmm. kind of things can help supplement your application. Um, are we going on tourist visas or are we going on student learning visas? Because, I mean, I know there's a lot of gray area here that we play with. Um, but what I've read has said that for short trips, mm -hmm. that this that the tourist visa would be okay. accepted. And, and the sticker is something you can buy in country. I mean, if you have an American passport, you don't have to worry about it. The right. sticker is the visa. Yeah, you do it when you get there. Okay. Can't do it in the weeks. And if we're staying for two months, then we probably need the student visa. Yeah. Yeah. Just to add, you just really need to make sure that your passport's up to date. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's where, we, as Roberto and I were talking about, you want six months on the other end of your passport, if at all possible. So if you need to apply for a pass to get your passport up to date, that's something you should start doing now. If you haven't checked it lately, you should do that. Which reminds me, I should probably go home and check mine. <laughs> I haven't checked mine lately. All right, so visas, we're okay? Yes. Okay. Weather, unlike everything that we see in these lovely tourist mm -hmm. brochures, it's going to be rainy and it's going to be ugly. And Ray Clark says we might even see a little bit of snow. Um, but as, as we were talking about before this meeting started, it's not going to be anything like the snow that's going to be here in Brattleboro, yeah, so we can all be happy about the fact that we'll just have a little bit if we have it. Okay? Um, I should also mention Karen Blanchard <coughs> found this traveler magazine in Istanbul, if you want to pass this. There was a um, uh, marker in there. It's all about how great and modern Istanbul is. So. And it's got beautiful it's summer it. pictures, which is what we might need that magazine. Because that's not what we're going to see. So it's going to be rainy, it's going to be cold. Um, it, it, Istanbul and Ankara are, are mostly heated by natural gas. We should have heat, which would be nice, because when we were last year, we didn't actually have a lot of heat. <laughs> Um, Istanbul's rainy and chilly, but um, we, you know, we should be okay. Yeah, we should be okay. Um, Turkish currency, um, and we'll spend more time on the money piece at a later session. We'll talk about the different ways to handle how much money to bring and how we want to get a hold of it. And you know, don't forget to tell your bank if that you're traveling out of country. All those kinds of things we'll do at one of our later sessions, all right? Um, now see, this is, this is just like what we're going to see, right? <laughs> dark and cold the, and rainy. The little, yeah. picture little weather events going on in the background. So, Blue Mosque, Takabi Palace, Grand Bazaar. With lamps and rugs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Say what? Lamps and rugs for everyone. 
Right. Well, you know, yeah, it's it's like, it's like you say if someone says, go there and get antibiotics and go whenever you go to another country, and like, if, you, if they have access to pharmacy stuff, mm. you can pick up all your medications for like a dollar. Um, yeah. All right. Now, this is what's on here. Let's talk for a minute about, since you mentioned pharmacies, health. Um, Deb Ranzano, our health center guru, is going to do a session, I would say, probably two weeks-ish from now. Um, maybe a little sooner, but she wants to do a pre-departure health thing for all of the off-campus programs. So she's going to do one for everybody at once. She said that for us going to Turkey, we're the, we're the least of her issues as compared to Mali and Mexico. Yeah. So, um, and but, New York. And, and New York, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, the, bed, the bed bugs. The bed bugs. <laughs> better watch out for those bed bugs in New York. Yeah, I know this is a side question, but is it true that the Mali uh, trip possibly got canceled? India. 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 Yeah, Mali. Yeah. Mali. Mali's back, back it's on, back. but with a different advisor, okay. and they can decide whether or not they still want to go. Okay, yeah. I thought a friend was supposed to go on that and said the person the advisor had a health issue. Actually, family you'd probably rather have Roberto respond to this. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, I think you, you know, you said it fine. That's where we are right now. The, 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 um, the instructor of that Molly course uh, had a family emergency to take care of and is not able to teach the whole semester. So we had to make a decision, well, do we cancel or do we try to find someone else? And, you know, we took a few days. We found another um, core faculty professor to, to take that course. And uh, so we're giving the students the option, you know, if they'd like to continue, you know, we have this, the professor, if not, they can withdraw. Mm -hmm. Because we've made some other changes to the dates and so forth. So. Okay. Um, so, health-wise, um, there will be some basic stuff, tetanus, a couple other things we need to make sure are up to date. So Deb's going to do a session for all of us, and then if you opt to use the um, health center travel clinic to get whatever shots you might need, she can do those. Um, for those of you low residency people, whatever um, Deb does in the PowerPoint will be made available for you all. And there's a Travix form that has all of the health information, and that will be up when the Moodle site opens tomorrow. So, you know, that's your basic, tells you every possible thing in the world that could go wrong with your body while you were traveling to Turkey or any place else in the world. So, um, but that's the full information, okay? Um, so Deb knows what our itinerary is and she checked it out and we'll make her recommendations, okay? Okay, so participants, itinerary, travel, flights, visas, weather, health. Oh, Google site. Are we okay? We're, everything's all right at this point? Okay. And let me quickly show you the Google site. Maybe. Oh, of course, there we go. All right, so um, those of you who are are already enrolled are in this. I will put the waitlisted folks in today. Um, and the way this is set up, um, we have general information, the course assignments and grading and all of that necessary stuff that goes with your course. Um, and then we have a section called Turkish language classes. And Ray Clark, who has been teaching the Turkish course, um, has very graciously let us do an audio file of all of his classes. So, and we've had only one handout so far, and it's taken us two class sessions to get through it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little anxious about what comes today at 3.30, yeah. but we'll see. So um, we're going to post those up on in this site. 
So those of you who aren't taking Turkish but want to just listen to us butcher the language, <laughs> you will have that opportunity. Um, and if, when Ray speaks, it's quite enchanting. And then and Jason's getting there too. But then there's then there's me at the other ends. Yeah, I, I'll you been pulling up the rear of this. <laughs> so yes, how many yes. people? In this, I'm just curious. In this group, are taking Turkish. I think there's about nine of us. Yeah, there's nine. So, and then there's a couple, there's a girl that's a yeah. math student that yeah. has started it in her two weeks and is just putting in. And there's another lady that's a... But they're not going on. They're not going on the trip. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, and we do have at least one low residency student who's started classes as well. And we have one of our low res students that's down in... Uh, Get Springfield, Massachusetts is going to try to come up. I know, Ryan, I think you had asked about doing language tables. Yeah, we just meet once a week for those who aren't taking the language class. I know Shana, she expressed interest in that as well. Okay. And I think uh, Samai had also brought yeah. up that she would make herself available to like yeah. questions and the good news and jokes, you know, the insiders take on things. Yeah. I'm going to ask her to come yeah, to one of our orientation yeah. sessions. She volunteered. You know, and we have we have a Turkish informant who can tell us what we need to know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That'll be great. Mm -hmm. So, and I know there's at least one SIT alum who's living in Istanbul, and I'm going to see if there's enough of a a group of people that we could get together with some of them. Um, I'll see if I can do that as well. But I have to get a, a more updated list from the alumni folks. But I know we have at least one person in there now. So Turkish language classes will be up for everybody. Um, and then we'll have a, there's a section for pre-travel and post-travel so that any of the videotapes that we do here will go up. Any of the kind of general information about, um, about travel and about Turkey will be up on the site. Um, and then we have a, a section that has to do with intercultural communications theories because I'm going to ask you folks, and this will be detailed in the syllabus, but um, bless you, but it'd be nice to um, have you folks wrap your heads around some intercultural communications theory before we get there. And so there will be a, um, a PowerPoint assign an assignment online for you all to do and it'll incorporate our low residency students so that everybody's got information handy before we get there. Um, let me see what else do you need to know. So this will all be there at your fingertips. And then we have a section for Turkey and cultural resources, um, National Geographic articles, information on Istanbul. If you folks find interesting links that you want to have put on here, send them to me and I'll make sure they get onto the site so that we can all share as much information as we can get a hold of. Um, reflections and assignments. Um, we will do a cultural autobiography before we go. Um, we'll do, and then you'll have some um, uh, paper to write after we get back. Um, and some reflections on the end of the trip. Our next session is going to be, the, like the October session, is going to be the class session. So I will make sure that the syllabus is up to you before the week's out. You can take a look at it and we'll, we will be rolling. And we're sort of waiting for our numbers to set so that we're there. Now, the last thing I want to mention to you that I don't think is, was on the original sheet Last year, for the first time, um, there are a lot of folks who are international ed students or who are interested in international ed. And then some of those of you in other degree areas are interested in program design or project design. And what we did last year um, was something where we, we talked about doing a behind the scenes look at the program and how it was put together. So um, there is an option to do a one credit independent study with me on program design. 
So that whether you're an international ed student or you're in any of the other degree areas, um, just to take a look at how the whole course got put together, and then to you'll you'll interview someone connected to the program, um, either here you can talk with Roberto or not me, um, or someone from this side of the house, or you can interview folks on the Turkish side of the house, the homestay coordinator, the budget person, and the office staff, and then um, put together a short paper on how how the thing what it what it says it's going to look like and then what it looks like from the point of view of the participant yeah um when i was talking to my advisor because i am ie and i know he had brought this up but also <coughs> he was saying something about if you're not testing out of the language um and you're doing a third option uh -huh. is there something related to this trip that applies to that? Well, you, intercultural communications, many times people will choose to write their, there's a, there's a paper that mm -hmm. you have to do in that option number three. Right. They'll connect what happens in that option number three paper with what they write about for their final ICC paper. Okay. So that's not connected to the one credit independent study. Right. It, it's the same thing that anybody who's taken that course on campus is told to do the same thing, oh, to, okay. to take a look at what's involved in that um, option number three and plan your schoolwork to, to fit that need. Okay. So you can so. use our final ICC paper for that. As part of your portfolio mm -hmm. that you have to put together for that. Right. Okay. Yes. Can we do more than one independent study in a semester? I already have an independent study going on right now. If I wanted to do this, we'd do Oh, it. yeah. Yes. Um, and this is considered spring. Oh, okay. So this is considered part of your oh. spring term courses. So um, you won't actually, this, this shouldn't interfere with what your numbers of credits are for the term now anyway. This is going to get counted towards your spring courses. You are? What is your name? Oh, Jari. Jari? Jari, J A D I. J A D I. Nice to meet you. I'm Linda. Hello. <laughs> okay, so um, that's what's on this website. And I think that on the Google site, and I think that's probably all I've got. So tell me what I forgot that you really wanted to know about today. Yes. Textbook. For the ICC, is it that same book that everyone's using for all the other classes? And what everybody else is using. So let me change your ones. Okay. There's like a, there's an eyes. It's like intercultural communications the book by Yethek. It's got blue and yellowish cover on it. And I'll go see what they're using. I don't. I haven't decided yet. I've okay. got it down to two, but I'll have it. Right. I'll have my decision by the end of the week. And then Carl will have it at the bookstore, and you can do it online. And then a lot of the ICC related resources are also available, will be available on the Google site. Mm -hmm. Again, because we're working with low residency students, I want to make sure that the basic stuff, they're all able to do what you need to do with similar resources. Yes? During the free departure meetings, will you be giving us some like suggested packing lists? Like, should we bring laptops and stuff like that? Um, go ahead. Yeah, I was, just, I was just gonna say, you know, we're preparing some um, information sheets like that, some okay. sources, so we'll be sending those to you by email, and whatever gets sent out like that will also be posted up on the website. Okay. Yeah, she was ahead. So, um, this, uh, with the syllabus, are you yes. going to have the pre-departure lesson dates on the syllabus, or where would it? Because I'm assuming that that piece of paper that we filled out is how you're going to decide when we have this. Well, what I'm going to do after Friday, when airdrop is done, yeah, um, I will send out a, if if I really can't figure it out from here, which I'm expecting I won't be able to. Um, I'm going to do a survey monkey. Uh, that'll be at the very beginning of next week, okay. and we'll go with the time that mo accommodates most people. And um, videotape, 
because right. that, there's no way that I'm going to be able to accommodate all of our low residency students. Right. So, so there's no set, set days. Yeah. No, there'll be three sessions, and we're probably going to do from six to eight, or right. six fifteen to eight fifteen. Because um, the only other time that you people are all available or not or supposed to be available is um, Thursday between. 12:30 and 3:15, and a lot of people have other things, and that is almost impossible for any of our low residency people. Okay. So, um, I apologize if I already answered this since I did walk in late. That's okay. Um, there is an experiment office in Istanbul, right? Yes, and that's so, who we're working with. So, if in theory we went traveling before the course and yeah. did bring a laptop, we could probably drop it off there. Is that a safe assumption? And just keep I, it I wouldn't make that, yeah, make that assumption right now. Are we we'll, we'll check that out. We will check that yeah, out. Yeah. But we have some contacts there before we leave to or go through you to I, find that I out. would like I would like us to find that out first. All right. And then I'll let you know. Because I, I you know, I, already I have sent uh, at least three notes to her about sort of individual kinds of and what about this and what about that and I I don't know how many people work in that office right at that okay. time of year and if one person says yes to you and someone else doesn't think that was such a good idea or when they close for the holidays or any yeah. of that sort of stuff so let us find out. May also forget that have a logistical problem where you have to go to the hotel and go to the thing and you go to the office and get the laptop and, and yeah, then I mean, I when you travel this group right. like when you split off that way it's yeah, I don't have a real clear understanding of obviously what the experiment is and what the symbol itself so. that's another session but the experiment where it handles a lot of different or a lot of different organizations can be housed in that same office in addition to us so uh, having said that, the people that run the experiment office have been doing our high school programs for many years. So, um, I'm, and, and I was told that for recently um, there was a PIM who went there to do her practicum and stayed for two years as a full-time employee and just recently left. So I know that they've been around for quite a while. All right, other things I have forgotten about them. Cheating, you're not supposed to look at the list. <laughs> Did I forget anything else? No, I think you covered it all. All right, what other burning questions do we have? How many not over as people are coming? Um, well, it's looking like what Roberto and I talked about today was that I, uh, if Turkey's comfortable with it, I think we can go up to 28 participants and two faculty, um, which is right about where we are. Um, Do you know who the other faculty member is? No, because I didn't know I was going to have this okay. many of you until the last <laughs> week. So, um, you know, that's, that's it's a surprise. Well, now that there, there have been other issues that the faculty have been working with with this other trip, so mm -hmm. now we can focus in on me. Me, pay attention to me. That's what my kids say all the time. Me, mama, me. So, all right, anything else? I want you to notice that I'm two minutes early. So that if I run two minutes late some other time, they're <laughs> even. Okay? <laughs> All right, great. Thank you very much, Thank folks, you. for finding time. I just want Thank to throw you. this out to those that are going. If anyone is thinking about maybe going a couple of days early yes. and to travel in and around Turkey, maybe. Good afternoon. Um, I'm yeah. thinking like maybe leaving the states right around the first or the second yes. at this yeah. point, Absolutely. and then a couple days. Right. So if anyone is interested in that, then. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, yeah. Because what we could do on the on the Moodle site yeah. is set up a forum. Yeah, that would be great. And so that just 